Hey there, Meg's here. How is everyone doing today? I am so glad to be here. Um, I know it's been a while, you guys. <laughs> um, and first off, I just want to apologize to those who were worried um, and also tell you thank you for your messages. A couple of you messaged me concerned because I haven't been around, and I do really appreciate that. It lets me know that you care, so thank you. Um, but I promise you everything's going to be okay. Um, if I'm being completely honest, things weren't okay, but um, yeah, I'm just going, I was going through it, and I, like you guys know, it seems like since the beginning of the year, things keep happening, but um, I'm just keep, I just keep moving on, you know, there's nothing much I can do except keep trying, right? <laughs> So, um, I apologize for being gone. We're just going to pick off, up where we left off. And also, I do want to mention, those of you who have done uh, uh, made orders with me, I know I have not been in contact, but I promise you things are moving along. along. I've already finished two journals, and that is why I'm here. I have a journal share. Um, one of them was just different papers, different inked papers, my specialty papers that I make with a really awesome cover and I needed to send it off so I didn't do a video on it but it was just um, for that person to do their own stuff in um, and then this one I am I am finished with it's my little golden book and it's a raggedy and little golden book so I'm going to share this one and then my next three journals I'm working on and I will message you guys and that is why I didn't ask for payment yet because I knew um, you guys, I haven't really started your guys' the next three yet, but I have been designing them, and um, I do have everything picked out and all that stuff, and I'm starting them tomorrow. So um, I have Donna and um, Coloring Victory and Anna Nation. So you three are next on my list. Um, maybe not in that order, but... I, I was going to work on them at the same time, but I might just do one at a time because it is hard when everything's spread out and you're working on something to go back and forth. And so, um, but you three are next. And I just completed two journals within a week and a half. So um, that's very, very fast, I will be honest with you. But um, the next three um, were, I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. They were asked to be packed. <laughs> They wanted everything in them, and, um, these three people, so they might take a little longer. But I will message you guys personally. I just wanted to say that in case I know you guys all watch and um, in case I didn't get the message out yet because I do plan on uploading this right when I'm done and I, I do have an appointment in Ann Arbor, which is an hour away with a specialist today for my... Um, oops my just a specialist appointment so I, I might not be able to email you is what I'm saying but I will get this video up and then I'll email you tonight when I come back from my appointment and without further ado I'm sorry the intro was so long I'm just so glad to be back I've missed you all um let's pick up this is Raggedy Ann and now with this video I am going to explain a lot about junk journals because this is a special junk journal this one is for my dear dear sister <clears throat> excuse me my sister, <laughs> my sister Melanie, she's an amazing, amazing woman. She is the best. Um, let me just tell you for a second. My sister Mel, growing up, was always the most amazing. I have three sisters, all equally amazing. But let me tell you, Melanie and I had a special relationship. Now, Melanie is my big sister. And, you know, when you're an adult, that doesn't really matter. Age is just a number when you're an adult you've you're both adults right so it doesn't matter anymore but when I was younger and she was my bigger sister it was everything and Mel never made me feel I call her Mel but everybody says Melanie <laughs> I call her Mel just like I like to say Meg for myself but Mel um never made me feel like I was a little sister she never made me feel in in a manner of like she was a bit you know older than me and smarter than me and better than me she always made me feel like an equal she always made me feel like I was funny she made me feel like I was special she always took me everywhere with her and just made me feel really really good and this book is a very special book and she read this book to me a lot when I was little. And um, then when I think about when I was younger, I think about Halloween a lot when I think about her because she always made my costumes. And um, 
she dressed up like Raggedy Ann one year, and I'll never forget it. I have the picture somewhere, and her friend was Andy, and um, it just was like one of the most memorable Halloweens for me. She always made the coolest costumes, and so I, I she even wrote this in here, which my name is spelled wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> but this book is so amazing, and it was just... The images always got me, and I've kept this since I was little, and, um, I mean, this is really, really old. I think this one in particular is from the 50s. This was published, but, yeah, I just really love this book, and so when I think of my sister, I think of Raggedy Ann, and so I wanted to do, there were so many things I wanted to do for her journal, like so many different choices, but I really came to the conclusion I'm going to do a Raggedy Ann journal, so... My hopes for this, and I'm going to tell you kind of what a junk journal is because I want my sister to watch this video. We live really far away from each other. We don't talk on the phone much, so I'm hoping that she'll watch this video to get an idea what a junk journal is. So a junk journal is just for memory keeping. Um, it is basically a journal, or you can call it a diary. You can use it however you want. So basically what I tell my people that are new for junk journals. I tell them a junk journal is for memory keeping and any space in the junk journal, you don't have to start from the beginning, you can start at the end, but any space that you open to in a junk journal, wherever there is room to write, that is where you do your recording. And you can do it like um, a daily entry. You can tape picture or tape or glue pictures in there. You can um, any place, there's going to be tuck spots, there's going to be pockets, there's going to be hidden spots, so you got to look really good on each page, because some spots have little hidden holes with a little piece of paper, so any place that has um, something, it's hard for me to explain, I'm sorry, any pl place that has a pocket or a tuck spot that has a piece of paper in it, um, that's called ephemera. Ephemera is, in the junk journaling community, is what we make, um, to put inside junk journals to look cute, but also something that you can write on. So if there's tuck spots and 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 hidden pockets inside, will be something for you to write on, or to tape a picture on, or to do whatever. Also in the pockets and the tuck spots, you can tuck in like little memorabilia things that you have. So like if you go to the movies, you can tuck in um, a movie ticket, or if you go to Disney World, or Epcot, or, because <laughs> I know my sister goes to um, all those pl fun places, um, Universal Studios is their favorite. You can tuck in your tickets from there and then write a little note on uh, next to it. This is when we went there, you know, so stuff like that. So that's for memory keeping. What I really hope is, because I have a niece, and my niece and nephew are grown, but um, my sister is really close with her kids, so I was hoping that maybe she would, and if you're watching this, Mel, maybe you would take this and record in it for however long it takes to fill it up, and then give it to Amber, which is my niece. So um, that way she can look through it all through her older years and remember you and remember times that you had. So if you guys go somewhere, you can record it in here and, hey, we went here, and then put a picture of you two in it. Or if you're thinking back on when she was little and you have a picture of her, you could say, oh, on this date she did this and put a picture in there and just write in it for her and then she can remember you all throughout her life with this book. So that's my hopes, but you could do whatever you want with it. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. I had to explain that because my sister has never had a junk journal before, and I don't think she's ever heard of what they are. So it is a little bit of a gator mouth, but not bad compared to what I usually do. Um, so I like my pages uneven when I do books. I think people know that by now. And I kind of, I don't want it to look sloppy, so I do offset it by putting on laces and trims and things like that. Now I will say, I was a little rusty when I started this. This is my first little golden book, actually, that I finished. So um, I've made a bunch of journals, but I've never made a little golden book junk, junk journal. So this is the first time I've ever sewed buttons onto a spine, and I went with the whole red theme. Because there is, you know, when I think of Raggedy Ann, I think of red because of her iconic hair, right? But in this book, because it is a little golden book, there's a lot of colors. There's purples and pinks and greens and yellows. I mean, every color of the rainbow. But I wanted to stick with the red on the outside, even though I wish this was in red. <laughs> and I did cover up the R a little bit, but it's okay. Um, but it is in pink, but that's okay. I think it still came together really good, but I wanted the outside to just be 
you know, like, um, honoring what I think of when I think of Raggedy Ann, which is that amazing hair, you know, this is what I think of when I think of Raggedy Ann, you know what I mean, the red yarn hair, <laughs> and I purchased this just for this book, but, okay, so, oh, crash, okay, so here we go, I'm rusty on my videos, aren't I, you guys, <laughs> so I just went with the little knob, um, and I did the crinkly, oh, let me say, all of the fabrics, like the trims and like this seam binding, everything is vintage. I did not use any, not, oh, maybe I did. This right here is not vintage. I'm sorry. This is not vintage. This is Hobby Lobby. But most, almost everything, 90% of everything in here is vintage. Um, this is um, 60 seam binding. This particular lace on the side right here was handmade. Um, it was, I had some of the fabric that was given to me. Oh my gosh, I just realized that my shirt has glue all over it. That's glue, you guys. That's glue, I promise you. <laughs> it's glue. So you're probably looking at it like, ew, what is all over her shirt? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've really been into it. Clean, um, messing around with these books and stuff this morning. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyways... <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, this was, I had some, some of this fabric given to me by my husband's aunt, and, um, so some of the, like, a big box of vintage fabric and trims, and so the fabric was in there of, that, that these ribbons were made out of, and then, um, this was in there on a spool, and she wrote a note that said it was handmade, so I thought that was so cool. I think that was where this came from. Anyways, yeah, it was handmade either way. And then, so here's what I did. My first button spine. I hope you guys like it. Ooh, it was the first time I ever did this. So I just went with it. I just got all the red buttons I had, which this is all I had, and I put them all on there. So, <laughs> and then I put the kitty. Um, and then, so this is the... Shh, I'm making a video, okay? You want to sit in the chair? You gotta be quiet sit, if you want to sit there, or you can go out there, okay? Because you gotta be very quiet. You can't play the game in here, because I can't hear. I'll be right out, okay? All right, guys. So this is. I'm sorry, my little guy's in here. So this is the. I did put a tassel on here, and I did put a bigger loop, but it looked kind of ridiculous. So I don't know. I might redo this tassel. It's different. Um. It, the the idea is there of what I wanted, but I'm not sure that I really executed it. I can't. I'm making a video right now. I'll be right out, okay? I'll be right out, and then I'll do it. Let me finish my video, bud. No, you can't play that in here because it's too loud. Let me finish my video, and then I'll come play with you, I promise. It'll be five minutes, okay? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not redoing this video. It's one of those days. He wants me to play his game, which I will, but... Okay, so here's the tassel, and it's okay. I might actually work on it some more, but I did want to capture those other colors, the purples and the and the red yarn for the hair, and some of that vintage fabric that I had. Um, and then at the bottom, I always add on pretty beads. So I put that one on. This one says love. And what else do we got here? We got these. Aren't those pretty? And then this... Thought that was pretty. I love those hearts. When I think of Raggedy Ann, I think of the red hair, and then I think of hearts because I always think of the Raggedy Ann where she has the um, red heart that says "I love you" on her. <laughs> okay, and then of course at the bottom I always have my dangles, and then I always have lace peeking out. Um, and then so we have these are from the signatures in the middle. I always leave some hanging down so I can put some fun dangles on there. It put. I put Made With Love. This one has a little cute little blue thing in it. <laughs> I can't talk very good today, sorry. Um, then we have this one. And I put that, what is this, red string on there. <laughs> and then this one says Laugh, because my sister always makes me laugh. She is so funny, guys. And then if there's anything my sister loves, like my sister loves cats more than anything in the world. So I picked out this book, The Little Gray Kitten. Okay, so there's going to be tons of cat stuff in this book if we ever open it. So there's the top part. Um, I put some more bead dangles. That's just, I love to do that. So there's some up here, some up here. And then I tried to do this thing, if I can hold it up right. You know when you get a book and it has like that little bit of like string? 
or string, like that little whatever that is right at the top of the spine holding it together. So I did my own with the red and white. I thought that was cute, if you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> this part right here. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so let's open this bad boy. So basically to open it, it's just got that, you know, I whatever the eyelet right there and then it's got the vintage seam binding and all you do is kind of push it together and open it and then to close it because it's not stretchy you just push it together and then it goes on like that and then I left some hanging down and it really unties easily the knot in case she needs to make it bigger in case she fills it up um, but also there's so many things in here she could take out if she wants to make it bigger also this does come off very easily the Oh, um, the tassel. Sorry. That's a horrible video already. Okay, so here we go. So here we go on the inside. So I added all these cute little kitties because the gray kitten is not the only kitten in the book. He does have friends. So let me tell you really quick what the gray kitten's about because there's going to be some things in here that I want you to know what the book is about. <laughs> um, okay, so really quick, the gray kitten is Raggedy Ann and Andy, get, they go outside with all the toys and Marcella, which is their owner, and they know something's up, and next door lady comes over, That's they refer to the next door lady as next door lady, which I love. <laughs> next door lady comes over with a box full of kittens, and they play, and they have so much fun with the kittens, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it starts pouring down rain, and Marcella picks up all her toys and brings them in the house real quick and throws them in the room, shuts the door, and she doesn't come back till the morning. And inside the basket with all the toys was the little gray kitten. So the little gray kitten got stuck with all the toys, and he's crying almost, and he wants to go home, and he's hungry. So the toys take turns all night, basically babysitting the kitten and playing with him and keeping him occupied until morning when Marcella comes back with the baby's mom, the kitty's mom, and all is well with the world, okay? <laughs> So that's what the story's about. Okay, it says capture life's mo moments, and these were buttons I had to sit and cut off all the backs uh, and sand them so that they would go flat. But um, so yeah, that's an idea. If you ever find these buttons that are so cute, they look like this on the back. So I had to cut those off, and then it always leaves like a little bit that you can't cut off. So I had to sit and sand it. But it does work really good, and once you get it off, they're really cute to glue down kind of a pain in the butt but you know and then I hand dyed the these were white this is my sister's initials um, and then there we have a little bit of a glue situation going on but it's Fabri-Tac so I'm gonna take a q-tip that's wet and just rub around here and get all that extra glue off but I dyed this these um, letters that were pure white with this and I always recommend this this is um, incredible by Jane Davenport I use the cherry I think it's called cherry Frida. This is Frida. And um I just I just love this color. But yeah, I always recommend I dye fabric with this all the time and it comes out so beautiful. So yeah. So I dyed it this red color, two coats, and it doesn't rub off or anything like that. So it's a beautiful ink to dye your stuff with. Okay, so uh yeah, here we go. So we open it up and the book is in chronicle chronic order chronological order it goes from start to finish and I did get my book pages to fit in by folding them on the ends and I can give you I'll link the video to Gail's video that teaches you how to do that if you because you know the little golden books are um the pages are going to be longer once you cut your spine and make a new spine so if you are watching and you want to know how to make your pages fit and to make them go in chronological order I'm so sorry I'm having a hard time today um, then just I'll link that video below and that's what I did I really liked her method so the story does go in order um, aren't these beautiful pages though they're just so pretty um, and then I just started adding some stuff so it says preserve your memories keep them well what you forget you can never retell <laughs> And then I made this cute little tag. Isn't that so cute? This is vintage right here. This is not vintage, but this is. And then these just came off of a calendar. My, um, I don't know if it was like, not PETA, but one of those calendars. ASPA or whatever. 
the humane, I think National Humane Society calendars are good to keep because you can get the cute little images off the back, the thumbnails. Aren't those adorable? And then this came out of a book and it came out a little rough but I kind of liked it. Once it came out rough I kind of sanded it a little bit on the sides just to go keep it rough, you know, like okay if I'm going rough I'm going to make it really rough. <laughs> but I thought it went cute with that. So, And this is a napkin in the background and then this is an image cut out so they're two different you know, they look like they go together. And then this is tissue paper on the back, the images, and then trim. And I did some stitching. This is a pocket with the little kitties. And it actually is a pocket, so you can put stuff in there. Oops, it looks like I have to glue. Let me glue that right here. Now we're on here. Always something, but I always do it as I go if I find something <laughs> that needs to be fixed so I don't forget. Okay, and then I had these cute, I love the way tabs look at the top. You know, those cute little red tabs sticking out. That's actually vintage lace cut into little pieces. And so I just stick them on in different places. I think it looks really charming. And then this is, says, happy birthday, it's a little kitty. I'll link my, um, I'll link these below, my digitals. And that's a little tuck spot. And I did try to put a lot of this heart washi tape because I thought it was so cute. Some trim. This is Sue Olsen di um, Digital. Um, this is Mrs. Coggs. And then I did some stenciling. And then this is one we made. We made this one together, I think, on um, this little piece. It's a pocket tuck. Um, on the video that we did for Liz the Paper Project for our inspirational craft along. So if you want to know how to make something like that, I do have the video. And then this just clips on with this cute little bow tie clip. And it's two cats having a birthday cake. And it says, you make life beautiful. And she could write on the back of that. So this is what I mean, Mel, if you are watching, you can write on the back of, like, anything that has an open space, you can write on. And you know what's really cool about books like this? They look so cool once you fill them up with writing. Oh my gosh, they look even cooler than just looking at them like this. So like this, you would take and write on the back of this. You would write on this. You could write anywhere. Anywhere that there's a spot you can write on, you write on. So in here, there's just little... Um, I don't know. <laughs> little tear. I just left that open so she can stuff it full of stuff. And I really don't like this guest check, to be honest with you, but I'm leaving it on there. It was the very last thing I made because I felt like something needed to go here. But um, I, I don't love it, to be honest with you. But this is vintage trim. And yeah, I don't know. I do like how it says Mel because that's cute, but I don't know. I could have done more. Um, but you can write in the back of that and all on this page. So, it does get better, I promise. <laughs> so, this you can write on, and this, and then this is that beautiful coffee dyed paper. And then these are from a very old book from, I think it was like the 30s or something, the Patchwork Quilt book. And this was, it's just an old book full of little kid stories. And this was the three little kittens, and I just cut out a couple pictures and made them into pockets and put some journaling cards in. And some journaling cards in this one. And I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> some vintage trims at the bottom. Um, then this is something I would put in my art journal. I just grabbed this. I made it. Um, but just to journal on. It's just something I, you know, doodled. And put a little kittens on there. And then she could write on the back. This is some paper that I dyed with my brayer and all kinds of different paints and gold and all that. I just braided on. I thought it was fun. And there's just little journaling cards in there. Now this, I got to do a tutorial on this because my junk journal friends are going to love this. <laughs> so I made this postcard. It's not a big deal. I'm sure you know how to make a postcard, but um, I just love these postcards I found at Michael's. They have this crazy texture that I thought was going to be really hard to work with, um, but 
I found a secret weapon to get things to stay on and to look so good. And it was a shame I did cover up most of this because it was so gorgeous. But I wanted this picture on it. Um, but the background, I did all of that. It was pure white. And it just turned out gorgeous. So I'll tell you my little secret to that in an upcoming video. Because somebody wants me to do a video on distress again. Which I will because I love it so much. And then, um, and then basically you use the glaze which just is such a good product. But anyways, um, let me read this to you. I did put all of this on here. So it says, Dear Next Door Lady, thank you for bringing over the kittens to play with us. We had so much fun. Can we do it again sometime? Um, XOXO, Marcella. Love, Marcella, Raggedy Ann, and Andy. And then it says, Next Door Lady, 123, Blank Lane. And actually, and it says Wisconsin 32142, which is actually where the book was published. <laughs> so I wrote all that on here. Like this is the city and state that it was published in. And then I put in a real um, stamp and then I did the postmark and I stamped all this on there. So I just thought it looked really cute. Um, I love postcards. And then this is vintage for the belly band. Oh, I love this page. And this is um, the cutest fabric. It's a little flip. I just did some stenciling under, some washi tape. I love that fabric. Um, this is a doily that I sewed in. And here's an adorable picture of the gray kitten. <laughs> I love that 70s look. And then this right here is where I folded the page, okay, so it would stand. So you have this extra flap, which gives you an extra place to put stuff. So right here, I put some tickets on one side of the page, and then on the other side, I glued this on there. And this is a vintage, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Vocabulary card. Extra thick. So it said ball on it, and I took my brayer to it with all the paints and I just braid on all different kinds of paints. I glued this applique on there that was a ball <laughs> and the tickets in front made a pocket so I just put this Mrs. Cog's journaling card that she can journal, my sister can journal on and um, just tucked it right in there. And then the other side I love how the inking came out on this one. I used all different kinds of paints different textures and um, gold paint on the very last layer and then I just after it dried I glued these on and I used my Stabilo all pencil around it to put black and I know that's not light source so don't I don't want to hear it I know if it was a shadow it would just go down here <laughs> just down here just down here I get it but I did all the way around because I wanted it to really stick out um, but anyways I put the sisters mini vocabulary card on there. Um, this I actually inked myself. It looked like this to begin with, which is burlap and lace. And I just made it purple again with my Incredit inks that I love, that I keep really close to me. And then this is a, a dictionary page that says sisters, then the definition. So I left that on there. And then this page I love. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, this is some old fabric I had. If you remember the Sewing and Cats theme journal I made, this was fabric from that. And I had some, um, just some, you know, cute fabric that I had. And it's missing a, hmm, something fell out of it. That's okay. I'll put this guy in there. So these are just cute little funny cat pictures that I cut out from a cat book. And I thought they were cute. So I put them in there. And then down here there's a little secret spot that has a little card in it that she can write a little secret note to her daughter if she makes this for her. Or, you know, just maybe something small that she wants to remember, a quote or something, or a date. Something to remember. And then this is a coffee. This is again Sue Olson. This is beautiful coffee dyed paper from me. And this is avocado dyed coffee filter folded into a pocket. So, you know, the pink, when you dip your coffee filters in the pink boiled avocado water, it turns pink. And then it says thoughts from Mrs. Coggs. And he looked like he was thinking to me, Andy. So I put him in the thoughts. <laughs> in the thoughts pocket. And again, you can journal on the back of that, something small, and journal all up here. So, 
This I love. Now this came in a kit that was a Raggedy Ann kit, junk journal kit that I bought, along with a lot of vintage trims and laces, and then this little golden book that's a cloth book, but I could not cut into this to save my life for this. I wanted to, and I wanted to put bits and pieces of it into this book because I think it would have been beautiful, but I couldn't get myself to do it. I think this is rare, so I'm going to keep it. Um, but anyways, this, and that's from, this shop is really great. It's called Memes Thrift. She's great. I featured her on my channel before, a long time ago, um, in the Etsy shop share. If you check that video out, it's uh, been a couple months. But, um, anyways, this was in there, this heart, and I thought it was so cute. And then I put this little applique that I had on it and made it into a fabric flip, which is just a little secret journaling spot that you lift it up and then you can journal all on here and then cover it back up. So isn't that adorable? And I did some stencil. Um, made a pocket with some um, vintage lace around it. And this is from um, Nevermore Creations. Um, and then uh, her digital. And then you can journal on the back of that. This is one that we just made. This is to keep your pictures in, but you can also just write in it. But here's the little trick. You just hold your hand down here, and you... Oh my gosh, watch it not work. Okay, so you hold your hand here on the little tab, and then you push it forward. There's the first one. It says dance, and little kitty on there that I did like a little snippet with the cat on it. And then... Oh, these ones are sticking together. And then you push that up. So you can put a picture here. <laughs> There's a little vintage picture from a 50s magazine of a teddy bear and then there's a little snippet I did but you could put a picture here and then these two are open so you could put a picture here and journal here or you could put two pictures or just journal whatever you want again a picture whatever these are vintage teddy bears from a 50s magazine and open spots and then that opens up and there's a secret pocket back here and that's a duck riding a bike and that's funny to me so <laughs> and then there's some little tags and writing spots that you can tuck back here so there you go so it just basically goes like this I just love this and this was we made this from um, uh, our last inspirational craft along which was Liz paper project uh, Liz the paper project and she did this it's called a waterfall okay so this is another cute image, cute page. This is my favorite page. So we have the little kitties playing. Isn't that cute? And then here was another one of those pages from folding the pages in. So I put these adorable jean pockets on here that are sewn. And so I put these little vocabulary cards in there. Um, it says, don't be a writer, be writing. And this one has these little ladies talking with cats. I love it. And then it says observations. And you can write on the back of those. And then the cutest part about it is I took these little cat buttons and I made them like tabs. So you can, like right there, and they're like peeking over the pocket. Isn't that cute? I love that. So you can just use them as little tabs. I just thought it was cute. And this is vintage trim from the 60s. I'm surprised it's so white still, but it is. And then you can flip that over like that. And we have this cute um, appliques that I taped on there, or taped, glued on there. And let's go, oh, this is some fabric pocket. It says stories, you can, that's just for looks, I guess. This is a really cool watercolor um, pocket with an applique and journaling spots, which are really cute. And we have another Sue Olsen going into the second signature. Now look at this background, would you? This is a cat from a book, a, a little kid's book, um, Down by the Bay. I just cut her out, um, made this little tag she could write on. Um, but look at this background. That's from the jelly plate, you guys. Isn't that awesome? That is oxides on a jelly plate, which is my new favorite thing. It picks up exactly how the droplets look. I mean, look at that. I can't wait to do jelly plate printing on film. I got to do keep blah. I got to get a move on here. Okay, so this is a tuck spot. We got um this right here just comes off. 
Look at that little kitty. And this flips out. So we got this that flips out like that. And as you can tell, my kids are fighting and not fighting. They're not fighting at all. They're whining. <laughs> They're like two, 10 feet in front of me, so don't worry. Everybody's okay. My son's here, my older one. So, okay, then we have the cat that says, Every day is a fresh start, and the cat is sniffing the tulips. And I actually took two pictures out of a calendar and sewed them together. Um, cute as a button. And then this is out of a 50s magazine, the candy store. I just put that in there. This is right here is out of um, a little golden book encyclopedia from the 60s. Um, this page right here, and I did some stenciling on it. And then this is a little decoupaged um, pocket that, or um, what am I trying to say here? I can't think. It's it's an envelope that I made into a pocket. So there's a pocket here. This is a vintage card, um, and then a tuck spot tuck spot and a pocket in the back and then here's another journaling card with little Raggedy Ann on it okay and then this is some more avocado dyed paper trims um, this came out of a little book it says a little kitty her coat is so warm and if I don't hurt her she'll do me no harm so I'll not pull her tail nor drive her away but kitty and I very gently will play and then I have journaling cards and it has a little kitty um, this is from Sue Olson there's one my son and I painted he looks very scary <laughs> but this is how they looked printed I'll probably print it print off him you know put him in like that but my son helped me draw on the other or paint the other one um, and then these I dyed and then this is vintage lace I made as a pocket and I made a heart flower with a kitty face in the middle and then this is out of that magazine again. I thought it was so cute. I wanted that in there. This is a vintage and it's handmade. Um, and then this is that quilted like book page that I made. And I cut it to make it you know, fit folded in like this. And if you look really carefully, it's all sewn except this part right here. And that's because this piece right here is a secret pocket. A very tiny secret pocket. And so it says, creativity takes courage. And I wrote my sister a little note on it, telling her how much I love her. And I hope she finds it. <laughs> but it's tucked in right there. So I kind of wanted it to stick out. And then we did some stenciling in here. Then we have another Mrs. Cog's image. Um, some little hearts. I don't remember where these are from, but I'll leave them in the description. I'm coming, Bubba. This is out of some old mail. This Hold on. This is made out of old mail, and I put... Um, I made, put some vintage, these are all, these are all vintage trims, yep, I see it. And then I put this in there, um, everybody wants me to hurry, so I'm trying, but yeah, that's an old mailing envelope. Um, this is a pocket, oh, this is made out of an old bag that I, uh, like a baker's bag, and it comes out with this little, isn't that cute, it's a little bike. I know, they can't suffice my baby, so I'm going to have to go. I'm sorry if you hear him crying. Um, but yeah, there's stuff in the pockets. This is um, Simplicity Vintage Trim that I made into a pocket. Journaling card there. Um, there's another one of those. Shh, I'm videoing. Um, this is, um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. A paper clip, handmade paper clip, if you can see that. And that was another one we did on the Inspirational Craft Along for Liz the Paper Project. Here is a pocket with a tuck spot, some cute images, and that is that little golden book encyclopedia. Um, and then we have the other sides of those cool pages. Please stop. Eli, no. He's going to act up, guys, because I'm not paying attention to him. So we're going to hurry up here. Um, and then we have, this is an old book page that I made into a pocket with these cute little images from, I don't know who, I think uh, I'm a cool mom. And it says some kind of wonderful. It goes right over the page, as you can tell. It's made out of book pages and sewn together. This is sewn. Um, and then this is just a paper pack from 
I like that I got from Michaels. This is the other side with that beautiful background I did with the I did that with these Distress Oxides and my jelly plate. And then it says, have you ever seen a cat wearing a hat down by the bay? And this is the tail that I cut out that was matched the cat <laughs> from the beginning, if you remember. This guy, well, this girl, so that's her tail. <laughs> so that's the other side. And then here's this beautiful snippet. We're on the last part. I love that snippet. These are, I sewed it down the middle. These are all vintage laces and trims except the front one, which is a simplicity that I love. Isn't that pretty? And then this is coffee dyed by me, baked in the broiler pan, this paper. Um, I love the image, uh, you know, the image that goes on from the broiler pan. And then this is a beautiful, you know, piece that I made. It has the little golden book spine in it right there, some vintage trims, and then some hair, little hair that I put on there. Um, and it's a tuck spot with a journaling card in it. And then we got, this is when it started raining <laughs> in the book. And then they're entertaining the cat, and then this is from, this image is a pocket, and it's from one of those, you know, animals, humane society things that I kept. This is um, a journaling card. This is a real vintage vocabulary card. That hurts. Do not do that to me. Thank you. Sorry, he's really not being nice. And then I put this applique on it because I had one. And But this is another thing I did with my um, jelly plate. So yeah, jelly plate stuff. Um, trains. You can totally journal on that and on this. And we're almost done. Stenciling. Um, this is a this is an envelope that I made into a pocket. That's like the watercolor envelope, and I put a seed packet in there. Um, there's just a cute image. Some stenciling. Another cute heart fabric flip with stenciling. Some cute paper with cat stuff on it. I made this with this beautiful image from Mrs. Coggs. Some tool and stuff. This is a little bag. And I put some stuff in the pocket so she can journal on it. Stenciling. This is beautiful avocado dyed paper. Isn't this beautiful? This didn't come out very good. It was um, a mouse running up a clock like hickory dickory dock stamp but it didn't come out good so yeah there's not much I can do about it this is some pretty lace that I dyed with coffee um, some tape here washi tape and then this is beautiful if you can even catch how beautiful this came out this was just avocado made this beautiful pink if you can even get a load of that I was so proud of that and then on the inside I made this beautiful um, isn't that so cute? I made this uh, another postcard, and it, you know, the first one was Marcella and Raggedy Ann and Andy writing to Next Door Lady, according to the book I was going off of, obviously. And then this has the little girl, this is a napkin, by the way, decoupaged onto a really awesome, you can't really get it on camera, but it's a really awesome oxide background that I made and then decoupaged the napkin on top to look like it's raining. And then on this side, I did another um, oxide background and sealed it with the oxide stu seal stuff. Um, and then I put, Dear Marcella, thank you for getting Kitten Little out of the rain and taking such good care of him for the night. Come visit the kittens with Raggedy Ann and Andy anytime. Love, next door lady. And then again, I did, you know, the address and everything as, you know, like I did for her. I thought it was cute. I don't know. Those are kind of little details I like to put into books and don't know if anybody's going to notice. Um, but, you know, I thought it was cute. <laughs> and this is a lace pocket. I think it's so pretty. I love that lace. With gorgeous images in it that I didn't have room for in the book of Marcella and the toys and the kitties and just shoved in there. She can journal on those. More of the beautiful book. And this right here is a little Tim Holtz pin and it has AJM, which are my sister's initials and her two children's initial, uh, you know, letters of their names, Amber and Jarrett and Melanie. So AJM. And then the book, a little tab. 
We have some stenciling and tape. Shh. Stenciling, tape. Stenciling, tape. This is another Mrs. Cog's image of a cat on a lady's lap. Just ignore him, please. This is a cute little cat. I got this at Target. Um, this is an uh, envelope with pockets again. This is Samwise, which I think my sister's going to think that's funny. <laughs> and this is really cute. I made this with ink tents. And then after I did the ink tents background with a brush and ink tents palette, I glued it onto a card. And then I put some gesso on it. And then that image. And so she can write on the back. And then this is cute. This is um, the next page where the clown is trying to make the cat happy. So he's doing um, some little wall puppets. And then I found this cute little image of a cat in a clown suit. <laughs> so I put that on there. And then, so that hides that one. And then this one hides the kitty cat. So it's like little paw prints and a kitty. Isn't that cute? It hides them perfectly. <laughs> And then there's like some cute washi of Sam I Am, I think that is. What is that? Dr. Seuss. My sister loves Dr. Seuss. And then this is some more of that fabric, some vintage fabric. This is beautiful coffee dyed um, paper. And then this is an awesome, this is Jean Davenport paper in the background. This is from that book. And this is from Mrs. Coggs of The Girl and the Cat. I made that into a pocket. I made this into a tag. This is an image that I just glued onto a tag. And then the back kind of goes over like that. So this is another one of those vocabulary cards. It tucks right in there like that. Um, I did that image, or I did some inking on it, didn't love it. So I put some gesso over it and then went over it with some, with um, gelato. It's just a light gelato. I put these, um, appliques on it and then I decoupaged this on here with some papers I thought it turned out really good and this says like Raggedy Ann <laughs> um, and then there's a rocking chair that's vintage magazine 50s and there's a rocking chair here so I just thought it was cute um, so yeah I just decoupaged some scraps and thought it would be cute put that on there we're coming to the end here and then remember we made this together um, from Liz the Paper Project. This is the um, image from Sue Olson, I believe. And it just opens up and then opens up here like this. There's a journaling card, stenciling. It says, you can make anything by writing C.S. Lewis. I love C.S. Lewis. This is another journaling card of a little girl and a cat. That beautiful background. Um, then this flips. You can journal here. And then this flips, and you can journal on this. These are from Nevermore Creations. And then this, I can't remember. And then this mini tag, which is adorable. And the mini tuck spot. And then, the, of course, that beautiful background that I made with oxides. And that is like a one-color oxide background, which is gorgeous. Okay, so if, if you can probably hear him, my baby is crying, so I have to go. Oh, we got one more page. Um, this is so cool, you guys. This, I glued these together. I glued this onto this, um, the page that was folded, sorry. And then on the back, to make it sturdier, I took this paper, which I made with my jelly plate, and I love how it came out. And I just made it into an envelope. And yeah, I just stuffed it with fun stuff. Cute images like I've been doing. And uh, old Pictionary. I took an old Pictionary card and glued some paper on the back, lined paper, so she, it could be a journaling card. Um, but yeah, I love how that jelly plate print turned out. And I sewed it. And I love leaving those strings out. It says Memento. And then the last page here is Mrs. Coggs. We've got this vintage um, card from the 50s with the kitty cat. Some book page to journal on here. And then we have our um, cute... I made this little pocket for this. 
and then I just put, this is the actual author, P. Curran, Raggedy Ann, I did that, I put my sister's name, and then I put happy birthday and her birthday, February 20th, and so I just stamped that over and over again, because this is for her birthday. Um, and then the kitties. <laughs> so I know that was kind of hard with the kids and everything. Um, on the back I put handmade with love. Some, if you can see that. I, I love mixing my metals, so I always, you'll see all different kinds of metals. Just here you have copper, gold, silver, um, white. I just love mixing everything. So, and then of course my dangles. I already showed you guys that I think, right? So that's the book. I hope you guys love it. I know that took a very long time. Um, but yeah, that's that's my first little golden book, and I think it came out pretty cute. I'm sure there are things that I would change um, if I had more time, <laughs> but I don't. I have to get on these other orders. Um, these people are waiting, so and I definitely need the money, so I need to get on with it. But this is very special, and I hope my sister loves it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, if it's nice. <laughs> be nice to me I'm having a hard time right now uh yeah if you don't like it that's okay you don't have to but if you do let me know what your favorite part was um and if you've ever made a little golden book I would love to know what you did like what little golden book did you do um this is my first one it's Raggedy Ann and I love Raggedy Ann I have two more um Raggedy Ann little golden books left but I can tell you this I won't be doing a Raggedy Ann little golden book for a while I'm all Raggedy Ann'd out <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been so nice having you here. And um, yeah, um, pardon the interruptions and my stumbling. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. I love y'all so much. Uh, and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. And I'm not sure what we're going to do, but it's going to have something to do with journaling, I'm sure, because I have to get these journals done. But thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.